Over at Capitol High School today, they were putting the finishing touches on this year's Christmas tree, but there was one ornament still missing, a 2015 state high school football championship trophy. It's been a little bit uh, tougher to defend a state title than it was to uh, win a first one, no doubt. For Miguel Crunchy Bays, his nickname? It came from when I was little. Uh, I was real fat. I ain't have that much hair. And um, the Kix cereal commercial came on. Kix is a cereal with a corn crunch that kids like. And then my mom said something about that, and then it just stuck with me all my life. And his demeanor on the football field are rooted in his family. I mean, well, my little, my, the one, my brother that's sick, he always used to do it. So every time I score, I do it and like try to find him in the crowd. Usually he's over there standing on the gate with my dad. With midseason missteps against Cabell Midland and George Washington, it shifted a season in cruise control into third gear and brought a rare label upon the Cougars, that of underdog. We go and we do our best and our back's against the wall. We're trying to fight our way out. For Crunchy, he never had to worry about being an individual underdog as he has always been the favorite of his close friend and signal caller, Tyree Pratt. He told me I was going to be his number one receiver and I had to step up and I said, I'll do whatever it takes to step up. Capital will face a program in Wheeling Park who will be the only ones able to boast home field advantage this weekend. But the Cougars aren't worried. I think after you know a couple minutes that, that home field advantage goes away. Capital will definitely be home for the holidays. As for bringing home an extra piece of hardware to put under the tree, that remains to be seen. For 13 News, I'm Tom Rader working for you in Charleston.